So how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Never a dull moment. So you've got a, a new show coming out. You've got uh, Now Apocalypse. Can you tell me a little bit about what uh, you're going to be doing on the show? It's pretty weird so far. It's a super weird show, but it, it only gets weirder. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's just it's a it's a very unique show. Um, I have a very small part on it, but I'm very happy to be a part of it. It's this journey of aliens and <coughs> I can't even describe. Like you just have to watch it. You really I I I you know you hear that about shows and like you hear people and then go like. I don't even I don't I don't even know how to handle it and like this show though is one of those shows where you have to see it to believe it and the evolution that it takes these characters on really is a roller coaster and it's a fun ride and it's a fun show and Gregor Rocky did an amazing job of creating this world and I'm very honored to be a part of his world and you know the um, Kelly and Evan and, and everyone that's a part of it that that makes the show happen really really uh, are pushing television and I'm very happy for that. And stars, stars is great. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's like the allergy. There's like all the butterflies and everything. It just hit me. It just hit me. I just got it on the last one. So it's kind of weird to say like TV changes people's lives, but how, like what, has there a TV show, like an episode specifically that like kind of changed your life that made you think like, ooh, I could be an actor. Ooh, I want to do this. You know, it, I got into this business in a weird way where it kind of engulfed me. and <laughs> It kind of sucked me in and I wasn't really pursuing it. And from doing work here and there it really turned into a career for me and it allowed me to do and see things and be a part of other shows. And, you know, the, the biggest show that probably changed my life, not watching it, but being on it was Breaking Bad. And TV does change lives. The way that you view, the way that you view yourself it's often the things that you watch on TV and you watch in movies. And I find more people don't realize how influential TV is to them because they'll keep it on all the time. They'll turn, I, I'm like guilty of it. I turn my TV on, I leave that thing running. And I come in and I'm like, okay, yeah. And that, that noise and that background noise really alters your environment and how you're behaving and what you're doing because if you have a negative background, you're going to keep a negative environment. If you have a positive background, you're going to keep a positive environment. And I find TV really influences that. And more often than not, people go and watch it to see themselves. Yeah. And having accurate and honest representation is key. And I'm so happy to, to see it. It's growing and it's happening. So, so what channels and shows are you watching uh, on background? So right now, I... Um, I keep kind of Netflix on loop. Um, I just watched the the love. I um, uh, just love death and bots. Oh, Have you seen that? No, I, I want it's, it's crazy. It's a crazy show. If you if you like now Pocket the Shield, definitely like that. It's segmented intervals of a different series. Like some are 17 minutes, some are eight minutes. Um, just finish that. I uh, I mean USA. I, actually, I'm a big AMC guy. I play AMC on the regular. I know it's ironic. That. It's like that's that's. Yeah, you're a company guy. Yeah. I'm a company guy, man. You know that's how I roll. But you know, all the older movies, all the the shows that they play. You know, AMC only puts out on good content, and that's that's why I enjoy it. And that's one of the networks I always leave that. Used to be Animal Planet. Keep that on the background. Discovery. Yeah. Go. Oh yeah. Guys, awesome. Steve Irwin action. You know. Reruns. I, I would say if you're ever in Australia, check out Australia Zoo. I, I actually been to Australia. I just had a movie. Um, I just had a movie called Standing Up for Sunny. It's an Australian-based film. We're in the middle of production, um, post-production now. Just getting everything edited and color corrected in the whole nine yards. But um, shot in Sydney. Um, Ninety-nine percent Australian group on that. You're, point one. You're the American star. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know about that, but I'm. I'm not American. I'm not dirty American that they bring in other shows. It was like I did a. I did a Mexican film called Tempio Compartido, and it was 99% Mexican film. And um, and like oh no 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 my my director was very clear. This is a Mexican film, and um and we shot that there, and like I was that I was that white American 
it, it's fun. It's fun to, to 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 be a part of it and to see it and like to just work. I'm very lucky. I get to work abroad a lot, and I find some of the most interesting people, and I love it. So it's good times. Good stuff, Roger. Yeah, man. Cool. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Have a good rest of your day.